2000s uh, Chevy C8500 and it's got the, uh, the little cat motor and it's got a MD3060 Allison so this is a, a WTEC 3 I believe like a generation 3 what it's doing is you can move about 100 feet and then it'll get stuck in first gear and you have to turn the key off and uh, to get it out of that gear to go into reverse or whatever you gotta restart the truck and it's been getting worse so to pull codes on this turn your ignition on press your shift buttons your arrow buttons up and down here at the same time D1 2 2 1 5 so your main code is 22 and the sub codes 1 5 and then I, these I think store up to four or five codes um, so to go to D2 you want to hit your mode button here D2 5 6 2 2 so 56 main code 22 subcode go to the next one here d3 5 4 4 5 so same thing um and then you know to go around the horn again you just keep hitting your mode button um d5 you can see it's just no codes it's got that hyphen in there so um and then to get out, I just hit the arrow buttons again. So the first code relates to a um, tur the turbine speed sensor. So what I'm probably going to have to do on this truck is drop that module off the bottom of the trans because that's where that sensor is. Um, I've gone through and done some some preliminary checks of the wiring. Uh, the other two codes there are related to. Uh, shift ratios and I'm going to go after this turbine speed sensor first this module on the outside here this is your ECU this is the VIM vehicle interface module so this is taking all your inputs from your vehicle like your power from the battery and such and it sends it to this so um Really, I want to start by checking power and grounds to my ECU. So that's going to be on the gray connector. And they got letters for them. So this is, the gray connector is going to be the V connector. And I need to get that off of there and pin test V1 and V16 and check for power. They're pink wires. So I'm going to do that first. And then I'll check for my grounds also on that connector. And that'll be a good place to start um, just to make sure we got power going to the ECU and then we'll start looking at our speed sensor wiring for the uh, turbine speed sensor okay I got the ignition on the gray connector is the one on the top it's obviously gray I got them black blue gray um, so power is going to be um, V1 and V16 so they're on the outside. I'm trying to do this in video at the same time. Okay, it's 12 and a half volts. We got the other side here. Oops. That's another 12 and a half volts. Right above it, that's my ground. And then on the other side here, my ground as well so outsides of the connector are powers and grounds so those have tested good so this is our turbine speed sensor this is the medium duty this is heavy duty we got the MD 3060 so VU and we got blue orange which is pins T15 and T31 so we're gonna make sure we got continuity on those. No. I'm gonna check through this pass-through harness right here. First, you got a couple
couple here. It's so probably a good idea to check all of them just to make sure there's no problem. Again, we got the VU for our harness side on the uh, for the transmission, and then the blue connector on the ECM is the one we're going to be doing the test on here. So that wire is good there. That's V on T15. So to go down to T31, it's right it's right below T15. So we'll hook that thing up right there. It's 31. And we'll go to U on this connector here. And that's good. That's what we want to see. Heck of a time getting this uh, control module off the bottom here. Um, it's like four of the bolts broke off. Had to cut them out, drill them out. Uh, it's just been a, nothing but a nightmare dealing with this. They, they do give you uh, jack bolts. You can thread the longer bolts up into here, and it's going to press on the case because the module's threaded. So that's nice, but. Okay, something else on this uh, harness here. Take it out of the um, clamp up or the uh, bracket up there. Take your other end off here, female end, just like a twist lock. This was so rusted in, I had to cut the, I had to cut a slot in that bracket, get this thing out of here, and it's threaded on there. It's got like a big plastic nut holds it on this way and it, it's so brittle broke off I had to cut this thing but anyways just pull it through the um, housing of the transmission there it's got enough room because this is what seals it here so there's plenty of room to get this connector through as you can see here's a broken bolt here these alignment pins can be a real pain to get out to get the module to come out um, so make sure you clean those up when you go back in. There's a couple more broken bolts. Uh, I, had, I had another one broken on the front here. I cut that out. But um, real, a real pain. Here's the jack bolts. You can see what I'm talking about. It's threaded right here. And this just pushes up against the case. Right there you can see where it's pushing up against it. Pushing it down. But it still took a beating trying to get it to come out of there. Okay, so this valve body needs to come off. These are your solenoids. Uh, here's your turbine speed sensor connector. You got two bolts that you need to take off to get that out of there. These seals get replaced. Uh, here's the gaskets on top of here. There's another gasket below this plate. Alright, once you got the uh, solenoid block off of the uh, module, take these three bolts out here. Of your filter and just remove that. You see it's up in there on the screen. Just set that off to the side for now. And um, something else you gotta do is take the three bolts out of this uh, harness tower. They're uh, Alex. So three millimeter. They go right here. Um, so now we can take this plate up. Place the gasket underneath here. Okay, so I'm getting ready to go back up in here. So it looks like it's all cleaned up. We got the uh, module all ready to go. New gaskets in there. New screen in there. New O rings on everything. So, I'm go up in there now. All right, got the uh, control module up on the bottom. There's really nothing too special you gotta know to do this other than take your time and make sure that your harness gets up through the housing here without getting cracked or pinched or something. Solenoid block, it's kind of a tight fit in the back. 
Uh, it helps to have someone else here to help you to watch the other side, but you just gotta go slow. And this turbine speed sensor is real close to uh, the front case here, so you don't wanna snap that off. Um, and then your alignment pins. As long as your alignment pins are, are in place, it just guides everything right in there. Um, and then you just torque everything down and and hook up all your hoses and put your filters, put these two filters back in, fill it up with oil. We're gonna see what happens. There she goes, driving away. See if uh, see if it shifts gears and how she turns out.